Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Let's talk about the weekend storm system, which has the internet abuzz, but in the grand scheme of things is looking more just like a cold rain. Doesn't mean that we're not gonna see snow or there's not a chance for a burst of snow. It just means a lot of what I'm seeing is like a lot of hype uh, and crazy outliers in the models. And I'll kind of break this down here um, as we look at the setup. I like breaking this down straightforward and simple. Um, this is the best I can give you here. I'm actually going to move my head out of the way here. We'll move it more towards the middle of the screen. So um, you can see above my head here, late Saturday, early Sunday is kind of the timing. Mountain foothill snow, that's pretty much a certainty. It's just a matter of how much there. The other thing not talked enough about is how windy this system is going to be. Um, the winds will be howling, maybe gusting to 35 to 45 miles an hour. So just a heads up really windy system. Mainly rain for the Piedmont, including the Charlotte area, Greensboro, Raleigh, points south, but it doesn't mean we couldn't see a burst of heavy snow. There's still some wild cards in there for a burst of snow, but even in the scenario where there's a burst of snow, it's probably just going to be a brief accumulation on grassy surfaces, decks, and roofs, and then gone. I don't expect any significant road issues at all with this outside of the mountains. In the mountains, again, that's a completely different story, which I will talk more about here in a minute. So where is the system? I mean, that's a really legitimate question uh, because this system to our south or over us right now, that is not the system. It's actually back here. This is going to dive down here and really kickstart all of this. The water vapor loop is a great tool in this situation because the water vapor loop shows you where water vapor is, basically the moisture content in the column of air. You can actually see the trough back here right there this thing is going to pivot down here and become our essentially what's going to be a nor'easter and you know if you've heard the term nor'easter i think a lot of folks mistakenly think that's something that happens in the northeast that's not where it gets its name it gets its name from the northeast winds that it produces and i'll show you what i mean so here we go through friday again friday not a bad day probably mid to upper 60s. Some showers developing in the afternoon, especially along the stalled front, but even those look scattered. Saturday starts nice as well, probably not all that bad, a low to mid 50s. Now, Saturday night, that's when things start to go downhill. Low pressure forms to our south, and if you look carefully, the low is still down here. You see these northeast winds coming from the northeast? That's where the word, the, the term nor'easter comes from, a northeast wind. We're going to be on uh, the northwest side of this, which means if you're on the coast, you're getting strong northeast winds, or in our case, inland. So look at all the rain. This is mainly rain moving through. What we start to see is the upper low starts to change over a band, maybe a couple bands of snow in here. But that's the big question mark. The, the way those form, it's going to be strictly driven by what we call dynamic cooling, or basically we've got to get cold air to work its way down from the upper levels to the surface, some of it through evaporative cooling, a process, a thermodynamic process that's going to cool the column down. And that can happen in these situations. In fact, I think it's going to happen somewhere. Where that exactly is, is kind of difficult. But even where it does happen, it's probably going to be very brief and transient. It's not going to last long enough to produce epic totals. You know, you could see on Sunday afternoon, the guidance is hitting. Maybe that band forms over Charlotte briefly, but there's actually rain here, rain here, rain here. So that's why it's a very isolated event. It's not widespread. And again, this would be incredibly wet, heavy snow. Let's look a little bit closer at this. We'll go hour by hour to give you a better idea for folks in my viewing area. I know folks outside of here, if you're on the edges, you get an idea. But Saturday night, here comes the rain all night Saturday. So Sunday morning, oh, that's ugly. Northeast wind, probably low 40s, pouring rain, snow in the mountains. Again, higher elevations favored above 25, 3,500 feet, probably. Um, as we go through time, that cold layer loft comes in, and could we see a switch over? Now, I think it's possible, but I'll tell you why it's not very probable. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's the warmest part of the day. So it's going to be battling the warming of the day, even though cold air is working it down to the surface. So this again, big question mark. And even if it happens, it's going to be very brief and not produce much snow in this situation. So how much snow are we talking about? Well, I just put together a quick snowfall graphic that I'll probably show tonight at 11, but I'll give you a sneak peek here because you're watching my vlog. Um, I, right now, I'm primarily thinking rain here with some snow, rain, rain snow, so RS. If we're going to see a trace to an inch, probably Interstate 40, probably the best bet. But if you really want a sure bet for snow, and I'm saying a 75, 80% 
plus probability, you're going to have to go to the mountains. And again, um, I crudely drew this, but I want to give you a rough idea. I'm going to show you a more higher resolution version because we can break it down by elevation. And I'm a big fan of showing this um, by elevation. So let me show you real quickly um, this based off elevation. I'll show you the Western Carolinas. So folks that live in the Western Carolinas, this will kind of suit you. If you're in the upstate, it's not going to be great. So let this populate for a second. Um, so this is, this is high resolution topography data. And I like showing this because you can see the Smokies, probably a hot spot, these areas. Um, west of Waynesville, you know, pretty good. The, the Maggie Valley, not the valley, but outside the Maggie Valley. And then Mount Mitchell, you know, these areas around Black Mountain to Mount Mitchell, good spot. Roan Mountain, Beach Sugar, Grandfather Mountain, also a good spot. Howard's Knob up in that area, and then Mount Rogers up in there. So you see the hot spots, even like South Mountain State Park, um, the, the, you know, the brushies up in here. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit here. I'll actually move the map um, and you can see some of the higher terrain, even in parts of Catawba County, might get a trace to an inch. So, you know, those areas that higher elevation will have the better potential. You can actually see even Crowder's Mountain showing up here in some of these higher elevations because if you get closer to that cold layer, it's gonna be just enough to produce, you know, cold enough air. So here's a quick look at the Saturday afternoon through Sunday afternoon stove potential based on elevation. So if you live in those areas, this will kind of give you a rough idea on where we think that's going to happen. And again, if you missed my, my graphic yesterday, I'll kind of explain what's going on with this upper level low again. Um, I'll show you the graphic here and, and why elevation is really, really important in this situation. So an upper low is actually a cold pocket of air loft. It actually brings the freezing level down. So essentially what happens is the, the colder air loft dips down to the surface like this. And so it could be rain, 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 rain. And then here it could be snow because it's close enough to the ground to make it to the surface as snow. And obviously if you're a mountain and you're, you go up in elevation, you get well into that cold layer. So you get all snow. Most of this event's gonna be like this. It's gonna start as snow, come down, but melt and get to the surface as rain. And here's the thing, even though it's gonna be snowing in this situation, the temperature could still be way above freezing, 35, 36, 37 degrees. Remember, you do not need freezing temperatures at the surface to get snow. It only has to be cold enough just above your head. Think about it, in the middle of the summer, I can go to my freezer, grab ice, throw it in my yard, it's 90 degrees outside, that ice is still in my yard because it came from a frozen location to a warm location. In this case, we can get snow at the ground if it's above freezing or a warm location if that cold location is close enough and doesn't have time to melt. That's how you have ice in the middle of the summer um, outside of your freezer. Now, yeah, will it melt? Yeah, it melts really quickly, but it's still there for a little bit, right, before it melts. Same principle here in the atmosphere. So that's kind of what we're expecting as that moves in. So that's, that's kind of the, the thought process right now. I would suspect sometime tomorrow we'll see a winter storm watch issued for the mountains because that's where the highest confidence is. We'll be within the 48 hour window of the event. Um, so I think tomorrow you'll see a winter storm watch issued for many parts of the mountains. East of the mountains, if you're getting excited for snow, it's okay to get excited, but I'm gonna tell you, it's a one in 10 chance. So don't get too super excited. It's mainly gonna be a cold rain. And if we do see snow, it's what I like to call a white rain event where it's snow falling, but melting on contact and the effect on the roads and everything else is just rain. Now, if we get a big burst, like a big burst for an hour, maybe two hours of real heavy wet snow, you could quickly get a winter wonderland on everything because it'll be wet, it'll stick to everything. And then an hour later, if you don't take a picture of it, it'll be gone because I don't expect temperatures ever to drop below freezing. So I will post another vlog tomorrow morning. We'll keep you updated throughout the weekend, but don't sweat it. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Go to the grocery store to get your stuff for the Super Bowl, not for the snow. And you're in the mountains, maybe a different story. Hunker down, probably gonna need some four-wheel drive and some of the higher elevations because those elevations above 3,500 feet could see some serious snow this weekend.